All right, guys, this is going to be the 2018 Ford F-150 with a 3.3 liter non-turbo V6. We're going to do an old change on this bad boy tonight. Uh, I'm going to go step by step on what you have to do to do the old change. There's not a lot out there on it. Um, this is a uh, 2018 Super Crew uh, XLT F-150 4x4. Um, just got it. Uh, a couple months ago, uh, just rolled over around 3,500, 3, 4,000 miles, I think I put on it. Um, it was a used truck. Um, it's currently got uh, a little bit over 23,000 miles on it right now. Um, so I want to put a, uh, a video out there showing how to do the oil change, um, what parts you need, and uh, kind of a step-by-step -step on what we're doing. Um, so let's first go down here. Using Ford uh, Motorcraft synthetic blend 5W30, uh, the five left gallon, uh, five quart. Take six six quarts. I'm also using a Motorcraft uh, oil filter FL500S, um, and I just got a uh, a new oil pan today just to drain it. And you can see. Uh, this all came out to just around 48 bucks um, with a with a small discount on there so I mean this was AutoZone you could probably get cheaper at Walmart or another place but um, so right now you need six quarts of oil your oil filter drain pan this is a seven quart um, it's got six quarts in there we're probably not going to get a full six quarts out as some oil always burns off um, and then what you're going to need is probably a towel to wipe off your dipstick. There's my dipstick. And the 3.3 liter is uh, much smaller than the 3.5, 3.7, um, which is replaced. Um, and the 3.5 naturally aspirated uh, a couple years ago. Um, so 3.3 is quite small. So... Pull the dipstick out. And as you go under the passenger side of the truck, yeah, you have to lay down here. So the drill plug is actually all the way back up there. You can't really see it that well. Um, yeah, right there it is. It's yellow. It's a plastic thing. Um, but you got this. It's it's kind of like a fiberglass plastic piece, so that's held in by a bunch of these little eight millimeter uh, one headed. Uh, it, it's a, it's a threaded screw through a bracket which has the, the threads on it. So it's eight millimeter. You got one here, you got one up there, and I think you got a couple over there. So we're gonna take that off. Um, and drop that down. I'm just using soccer wrench. We're gonna take that off and then uh, we'll come right back. All right, so after you get that splash shield off, you'll notice that the four screws there was two here and then there was two back on these L brackets. Um, so all four of those take off that splash shield and then you have a access to your old drain plug right there um, and then honestly this is the first time looking into this truck so I am gonna look for the oil filter which should be probably right in front of this here um, but I'll locate that oil filter and then we're gonna remove those yay epic fail um, yeah made a little mess this shit shot straight out there's the oil plug it's that new plastic piece of junk um, after I got my second handle it actually came out pretty good um, but using the seven quart pan a little bit of a slope here did kind of shoot all the way out here but I'll clean that up and we're gonna go find that oil filter all right so the oil plug is all buttoned up right there um, start cleaning up a little bit of this emptied the almost seven quarts of oil 
into a bucket here just so it wasn't spilling on me. Spent a second looking for the oil filter. So it's all the way down at the bottom driver's side. Let's see if I can get it down there. Coming up on the truck here. So the oil filter is right there. So driver's side, um, front, right underneath the alternator. Um, you do have some splash shields here. I'm gonna see if I can uh, put some rags under it and uh, hopefully get it off from the front. Go under the control member here. Uh, lower control arm, front. Let's see if I can get it from right there. I think I can. All right, so that was a pain in the ass. Um, had to take a drink of beer before I get back to this video. Um, so you can't reach it from up here. It's just it's too difficult. So what I had to do down here is I had to use one of those cheetah wrenches. I had to get... You can see it right... Where's my finger? Right there. So I had to use this Fram oil filter wrench to break it free, let it drip, put the pan under it, and just dripped. You can see it's still dripping right there just a little bit. Um, so let it drip a little bit. Now we'll put the new filter on there. Um, after you get the new filter on, and put a little bit of used oil around the seal and tighten it up there. Um, going to then put my splash shield back on so the four eight millimeter bolts up on the bottom there. Then we're gonna fill her up with the wool. Um, and start her up. Run. All right guys, she actually sounds so much better with the new synthetic blend motor craft oil. Um, it's a little bit of a pain around this uh, intake here. Um, biggest thing is trying to get to the top of the valve cover with this in the way. I didn't have a long enough um, funnel, so I put the funnel right there, used a single quart, dumped it in, dumped the five quart into a single quart, and just did one quart at a time. Um, did really well, just took a little bit longer than I needed to, but. As you can hear, she is really quiet compared to. Sound like I had a little lifter tap, you know, valve tap earlier. Um, I don't know what oil was in the truck before. Um, my first oil change of the truck, so uh, I'm really happy with uh, Motorcraft uh, 5W30 synthetic blend. Which you guys know, a couple more thousand miles, how it does.